If you've done art on your iPad in any capacity, you've probably heard of Procreate. Today, I'm taking a look at the next software in the Procreate lineup, Procreate Dreams. Let's get into it. Hello there. So like the intro said, I'm trying Procreate Dreams today for the first time. I want to clarify two things before we get started. One, I'm not an animator. I animate like maybe once a year and then once the itch is scratched, I'm gone. And two, this is not a tutorial. I am an idiot messing around on his iPad, but uh, let's just get into it. So this is the home screen for Procreate Dreams. I have watched a small amount of tutorials, but I don't really know what I'm doing on here. I guess um, this is your drawing screen. It's got the same gestures as Procreate, it would seem. Same sort of menu for all your brushes. Hmm. So right off the bat, unless I'm doing something wrong, it has it has none of the shape options that the normal Procreate has. That's concerning a little bit. Not a good look, honestly. But from what I understand, you can import art from the original app. So if I go to Procreate, and we'll load in this shark from one of my YouTube shorts, I believe you can bring it straight in here. There we go. So we've got our shark. One of the cool things about Dreams, I could either animate the shark, I could move him, I could keyframe him, whatever. There's also this new recording mode that a lot of people are excited about. So all I do is press here, and then to animate the shark, I can just move him across. So you can see that with very little effort, I have an animation. Not a very good animation, but I do have an animation. Now, if I wanted to, let's say, add some water to my shark, I could go back into the drawing mode, make a new track, and draw some water for our shark to swim on. But I'm honestly thinking that the best course of action may be just to draw everything. Sorry, I'm just testing if this still fills. Okay, still fills like normal. I'm honestly thinking that it may be best just to draw everything outside of dreams. Just like the original Procreate, Dreams is very compact with a lot of things that just take time to learn. So I ended up taking a couple of hours just to figure everything out. But to save everybody some time, we're going to wrap up the first impressions here and move on to the review. So after using Procreate Dreams for a few hours, I'm actually kind of conflicted. We'll start with the pros. I think I've said this before on my channel, but one of the things I hate the most about Photoshop, any Illustrator, all of the Adobe products, any of the big brands right now, is that you're paying a subscription. You don't own the software. And I love that Procreate and Savage Interact, I think is what they're called, is not a subscription. It's a one-time purchase. Huge props to them. Very accessible for anybody. Next, I'm not really sure how much I'm going to be using this, but the perform thing, the record button, I'm not quite sure what it's called, and overall a very creative feature to add. Next is just the fact that it works with Procreate very well. I like that the interface is all very similar to Procreate. I like that I can import my art from Procreate. All of that is awesome. But that leads me to my cons. The app is missing so many features that I feel like it should have. I found myself constantly reaching for Procreate's effects tab the selection tool, which leads me to my next con, the UI. The UI is a double-bladed sword because I do like what they've done with the UI, but at the same time, they didn't need to change it from the classic Procreate model. All of the new UI elements, great, but they felt the need to move a lot of things and it really is just confusing for no reason. I also felt like I was constantly needing to go into Procreate to do the bulk of the work and then go back into Dreams. Really, unless you're doing some crazy complex 2D stuff, the normal animation tool in Procreate is good enough, which is not a good thing to say because Procreate's animation tool is not a good animation tool. At times, Dreams felt more like a video editor, which isn't quite what I was hoping for, but at the same time, I do think it opens a lot of potential for a hand-drawn sort of aesthetic when editing videos. So with those pros and cons in mind, I'm not sure where I fall on Procreate Dreams. I was very excited about it initially, and I think I still am a little excited, but I'm going to hold off on animating with it for a while. 
it's not quite the program that I hoped it was, but I think um, given some time and some updates, it's going to be a very powerful and amazing program. So for now, I'm going to give Procreate Dreams a 6 out of 10 and some room to grow. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the first review I have done on this channel. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to comment, drop a like, and subscribe. It really helps out a ton. And with that, I will see you next time.